I'm afraid of a lot of things and fire is one of them. I have no idea what I have to do when something is burning, so I decided to learn from the experts. Training on Sardinia was only one week, but I learned a lot. The Paws are probably the best hand crew in Europe, and to have a chance to train with them was quite astonishing. Now I want to implement some strategies I learned and also maybe revolutionize the firefighting industry. This is some stuff you need for successful wild firefighting. We have hand tools which are quite important. Uh, stuff like uh, fire extinguishers, water rucksacks, first aid, and so on. How do you transport that around? Of course, with a fancy fire engine. And a lot of the firefighters will say that the big red fire engine is the most important thing ever. Oh, I just forgot. Actually, looking cool is the most important thing. But I also have something for that. So the idea is to make a fire engine out of this wheelbarrow. Why wheelbarrow? Because I kind of collect them. <gasps> Let's start the board. Da -da 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 -da. I present to you the mighty AFF VWB 3500 HD. I implemented a lot of real world firefighting stuff into this build, but with some personal touches to it. Let me show you around. Well, okay, here on the side. We have a fire extinguisher and it's probably not that much wild firefighting but i do weld a lot and like work on cars so yeah probably probably a good thing to have on this side we have the pulaski and also a variety of other hand tools which you can super easily take out here on the back we have a, a water rock sack with 20 liters of water uh, once more thanks pause for the presence very useful we do have a beverage holder and for now this is my drip torch, this plastic bottle, but... What's really important about transporting fuel is that it's in a container that's approved by, at least in the US, the Department of Transportation or in other places, the United Nations. Hmm, have no intention to use it. It's probably over my... Uh, skill level. Also in the front we have a small uh, first aid package. Yeah, now we should probably test it out. But there is one more thing. Alarm! Alarm! Hola, hola. Hola, mi nombre es Anton. ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Sí, vale. arrived at the scene of crime. Uh, let's pretend this carton is the fire. And let's imagine the background is safe, but we want to stop the fire of coming in this direction. So we have a variety of tools and we now can dig a fire line. 
Okay, we grabbed the fire line. Now we will try to control the fire with the water rucksack. <clears throat> so we successfully cooled down the burning area. And I have to say, these rucksacks are quite useful. If you grab a, a water rucksack and a hand tool, you actually can do very much. I do quite like this firefighting tool. For small fires or burning grass, it's very good. Another option I have is this battery-powered pump, because I do have few of these water pounds for agriculture over the property. So uh, in some places I do have water. And with this pump, I can transport water, I think up to 50, 60 meters, it depends. Well, all in all, I would say this was a success. So now back to the studio. Well, guys, this is it. This is the firefighting wheelbarrow. The main idea behind it is actually that all the firefighting tools are on one place all the time. Uh, that's the reason why I painted the tools red, so nobody uses them for like gardening or something else. So they are always in one place and ready to go. Yeah, I think it does make a bit sense. I don't know, write in the comments what do you think about it and how do you manage your property and uh, firefighting stuff. The build was a lot of fun. Of course, there are one or two rough edges around, but hey, never mind. So, on my uh, Genius to Dump board, it's somewhere in the middle, I think. Maybe a bit higher. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.